we were surprised when we were out on out talking to people that um, you know my idea of healthy food and their idea of healthy food was was very different. Um, do you want to add? Anything? Uh, sure. Sure. Um, so um, while Sierra, Stephen, and I are are vegan, um, our other two members are not vegan, um, and so. Um, but we did share the passion for finding something healthy. So when we put this concept together, when I pitched it, it was vegan. I wanted somewhere to eat that was vegan, easy vegan food. Um, but when we kind of came together and we were talking more about this, we didn't want to have a concept that was going to immediately turn people away at the thought of what vegan is. So some people might want to eat healthy, but not even understand what vegan was. And so we really decided that even though our menu would be vegan, um, that we wouldn't necessarily present it that way, that it would just be um, a healthy alternative to fast food. Um, so then the definition of healthy became the next big question was, was what do people think is healthy? Um, and you can get a salad at a lot of places. And is it a healthy salad? Um, so our market research definitely helped with that when we went out um, onto the streets and then when we sent out our survey. Um, we found out that most people think um, that they really can't or that the, lim the options were very limited for a healthy option. Um, but if they did, they thought that Chick-fil-A was the healthy option. <laughs> um, and um, the, the other thing that we found was that people were willing to definitely pay more for um, a healthy meal. Um, so average people were spending $10, but they would be willing to spend $14 for something they knew was definitely a healthy meal. And so once we really got that validation after um, our survey and going into the truth and actually just talking to people, that really helped fuel us for um, with the fact that we have a really solid concept here, people are willing to pay for for this, and um, and that definitely helps propel us forth more from there. So. All right, so looking at trying to minimize our costs since we are a startup, um, we were looking at using an existing location, um, so we didn't have to fund one from scratch, um, and focusing just on a drive-through with no actual sit-down. We were hoping to limit our costs as far as labor. Um, really just focus on internal stuff, so like a chef and food prep and like counter window service. Um, and trying to use uh, local seasonal ingredients that can be used across multiple different dishes so we can have a more manageable food cost as well. Uh, I had had some experience with that in my, in my work already, um, just utilizing different dishes and things that were kind of coming in for season. Um, So, these are some of our pictures during Startup Weekend. It was a, it was a completely unexpected experience. I, going into it, I had no idea what to expect, um, but I was definitely excited. Um, I got the chance to meet a lot of great people and uh, make some interesting business connections that I really wouldn't have had the opportunity to before. Um, you want to put some of your um, So for me, um, Startup week, so um, I, I have to back up here for a minute. Um, so I um, am in the process of a startup from myself, a, a business that has really been very separate from this. And uh, going into Startup Weekend, I knew that I was there for an experience. What my goal was with Startup Weekend was to get outside of my comfort zone and to kind of broaden my horizons, learn more about um, entrepreneurship from a perspective that I just maybe hadn't even considered yet. Um, I felt like there was definitely going to be value in that, even though I really had no idea what to expect. Um, I heard plenty of people explain that we're going to create a whole business in a weekend, and um, in my mind it sounded fun and a little challenging, and um, it was it was um, it was much more immersive than I thought it was going to be. Um, it was much more intense than I ever thought it was going to be. Um, we came together with kind of ultimately we started out as strangers, and um, we've kept in touch since then. Um, we 
um, I, I don't think any one of us expected to be the people that were there until midnight, you know? Um, when Michael was telling me about starting weekend, he was like, some people are there really late, you know? Like, people stayed until midnight last year on the first day. I'm like, I'm going home. Um, later. <laughs> we would have, we would have, and after um, we, we went shopping, <laughs> like, we went out, we did stuff after, even. Um, so we were, we were really, um, we were really into it, connected, and felt connected to the, the business idea that we had created just on that, that first day. Um, but startup, again, was a lot harder um, creating and, and pulling together a truly, um, a validated business, coming up with the business plan, putting together all those numbers and pushing that all into a 48 hour period was definitely more challenging. There were many times when we were pushing away from the table and saying, I don't know what to do with this, or, or pretty much every subject was, let's table that for now, let's, let's table that too. Um, because we, we kept hitting these tough moments where we're all brand new people to this concept, brand new people to this idea, brand new people to each other. Um, so what made us get through it um, was one, I think our own dedication to the fact that we wanted to see it through, but we utilized every resource in that room. Everybody. I, we asked everybody questions. We had everybody sitting at our table. There were banking experts and land development experts and business experts and even the volunteers that were there in the room we were constantly grabbing people and asking questions. Um, we wrote notes and, and you know, continued to go back over things. Um, and we even, like, down to, you know, like, this is us <laughs> rehearsing our, our pitch, you know, like, we wrote down and we went over it and over it and over it. So we really had good and solid, like, we felt confident when we went up there. And we knew our numbers through and through when we went up and made our pitch. We really um, we knew the answers to those questions. Um, and we, we, really, um, we really made sure that we, we made the full concept. Um, and, and I think that that's what made us so successful. And, wait, wait, go back. We served them food and drinks. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want food and drink when you're a judge? Uh, we would have done it here, but it was like three judges. <laughs> yeah, so this was just a brief overview of kind of what we had experienced going into Startup Weekend, um, how it really came together. Um, she actually touched on a lot of those two points, but... Sorry. No, no, all right. Um, coming through and meeting everyone and finding what pitches uh, really spoke to us, and of course I adhered to hers, and then on our second day, you know, really trying to develop what it was with the product that we were going to sell, what we needed uh, to establish our business and ourselves, <clears throat> what partners we needed, and who our customer segments would be. Uh, so that's where we did our market research. Sierra and I went out and um, validated that. And like she said, we utilized as many metrics as we could possible. Um, touching on that on our final day, finalizing our concept, uh, preparing our page with all of our numbers and our statements, and making sure it was backed up by our information, and then putting on pitch, and apparently impressing you all very much. <laughs> all right. So that moves us on to where Fresh Ninja is now. Um, so for me, this is a completely new venture in entrepreneurship, and this is something uncharted and completely new. Um, so I've been utilizing, uh, obviously, Khan as part of the UCF Business Incubator. It's been a, a great help, as well as the other uh, members who are there as well. Uh, SCORE has been very helpful with their uh, workshops as well as their mentoring. And other than that, I've been trying to just network as much as I can to really just learn and immerse myself in the role of uh, being a business entrepreneur. It's, it's something that um, I knew I wanted to get into. I wanted to be self-sufficient as a child, but I never knew where exactly that might be. And going through Startup Weekend and getting this great opportunity has it's something I never expected. Um, so we're still in the concept phase and we're still working to bring it to market. Um, we're trying to work with some potential new partners to uh, find new avenues to get our product to consumers um, and just develop our, our venue as we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. So I, I had the lucky um, chance to be sponsored to go to Startup Weekend actually by Kristen Colasanti. 
Um, she's a personal friend of mine, and she came to me and believed that it would be very good for me and a good opportunity for me to develop um, some other parts of myself that I wasn't fully utilizing. And I would have to say that she was right, uh, because I would still probably be doing what I was uh, five months ago if I wasn't uh, given a great gift of being able to attempt to start again and really trying to pursue something that is a dream of mine. Uh, so. From there, I've just been doing a lot of test kitchen work with uh, Sierra over here, uh, preparing as many different dishes as I can and trying to just sample with friends and see if I can get any sort of feedback and, and what people actually enjoy, people who are not vegans because we are a niche group and uh, we should probably affect everything. Okay. But um, aside from that, I mean, that's that's where we're going. It's, um, it's still working every day, uh, just kind of developing. See you in your goal. Thank you.